Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be cooking baby back ribs. It's rainy, it's cold, nothing left to do but cook ribs. So I've got a uh, fire starter in here. Um, it's a Weber ladder cube. Got some apple wood that's been soaking for about an hour. And uh, we'll let this get going. Our target temp is 235, so we'll let that go. Uh, we'll put smoking stone, put that in there after you light it. I only use one lighter cube when I smoke because I don't want it to get too hot too quickly. Um, also using the eye grill. Only uh, probe that we need today is the one for the ambient temperature probe. We don't need the meat probes because it's ribs. So we are good to go. This around 235 and we'll uh, that's going to be our rack to put the ribs on. I've, I bought a three pack so it'll be three racks of ribs uh, so we're going to put them sideways today because I bought them on sale with three packs. So, Alright here we go. Alright guys we have three racks of baby back ribs. I got them from our local butcher shop this morning. They were already, uh, the membranes were already taken off. I just trimmed them up a little bit, cleaned them up. Uh, we're going to get them prepared for the grill, for the smoker. And this is simply nothing more than French's Classic Yellow Mustard. And you just hang on. This is not for seasoning or spices or taste uh, as much, not nearly as much as it is for to get the rub to stick to the ribs. And so you get that coated real well, it's just a, a base. We're using today uh, 10 bones rub. Um, this one Memphis and May barbecue this year, uh, they actually live here in Olive Branch. And so I've used this rub a couple times, love it. I'm actually gonna marinate to the uh, base with that too, not marinate, but we're gonna base with that every hour or so with this base that they have. Liberal amount of rub. I'm gonna let that sit for five minutes and we'll come back, turn over, and do the other side. All right, guys, it's been five minutes. We'll do the other side. Look how great that marbling looks on these baby backs. These are not from grocery store, this is from our butcher block here, local. Always support your local butcher. Always gonna have the best meats. These have never been frozen. Always fresh. And I'm not as liberal as some with my rub and I'm not as stingy. As some, I just like just a regular, regular amount. Try to make it as even as possible. It's yep, just try to coat it, get a good even coat all the way through it. And we'll let that sit, and what that'll do is the. It'll, that mustard will come through and uh, make this to where it won't fall off because we are going to cook these sideways today uh, and so we want that to that rub to stay on there nice and good. Alright so uh, we'll be back with you when we're ready to put it on the smoker. Alright guys we are about to temp so we're going to go ahead and put these on. I want to put a slab in here and here and in here. Um, not sure how this is going to work. I have not done one sideways like I said I usually do two racks and it works perfectly, but they had a special on three racks. And so I sort of got one for free almost, so I might as well use it. Because I don't want to freeze it. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. We'll find out here in just a second. So far, so good. I'm going to move my thermometer. I'll put that one this way. Well, look at there. That's three racks of ribs. Now I'm just 
trying to get it to where my doesn't hit my thermometer. Three racks not touching each other. Get my hands filthy. Let's see what happens here. Perfect. Okay. We're going to let them cook for an hour. Well, probably 45 minutes before we spray them. Hour and a half before we wrap them. So we'll be back in 45 minutes. Okay. I used the baste. Baste them down. We'll leave them 45 more minutes. Cover it down. Cook them at 235 for about 45 more minutes. And then we'll wrap them up. Okay, guys. We've taken our ribs off. And we're gonna we're about to wrap them uh, again I'm videoing by myself because the wife and kid are gone and so uh, we'll actually start with some squeeze butter we'll just make ourselves a nice little row of that Come on. there we go and then we have some uh, just honey. You see my preparations were lacking. Need to spread that there. Yeah, that's gonna be good. And then some of the base that we've been basting it with now I'll be honest and tell you that I like to put brown sugar in this as well I currently found out moments ago that we are out we are out of brown sugar and you just take your ribs and put them there look how great that looks take I'm using heavy duty tin foil. Wrap the ends. And there's one. We'll do that for all three. Then we'll put them back on the grill. Um, for about an hour and then we'll take them back off and grill a little bit smoke them a little bit more same temperature 235 is where we'll be on this All right, guys, I uh, got them out of the tin foil, out of their bath, and we're now going to put some Sweet Baby Rays on them. Look how great they look. They are pretty much ready. Uh, we're going to let them sit here with the, the barbecue sauce um, for about 20 minutes, and then we're going to eat them. Uh, my wife's back from the movies. So she's videoing me, and these babies look great. Uh, we're just gonna let these let the sauce soak in just a little And really they're gonna be ready Delish All right 20 minutes All right guys, we'll take them off the grill uh, They look fantastic as you can see I've cut one uh, you can see there's a great smoke ring They're tender. We don't like ours too tender um, but you can tell that these are perfect. We want a little pull to it. Uh, and this, you can see it comes straight off the bone. Look at that. That's a clean bone. Took a little pull to get it off, which is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, just a little taste test. It is hot. Too hot for a taste test. I'll have to taste it later. Well, here's a bite. Time for a taste test. These are some great ribs. All right, son, see what you think. Is it worthy? Oh. Delish? <laughs> All right. One more time, I wanted to show you the smoke ring. 
just pay them down here. And as you can see on these ribs, and now that I've cut them up, the great pink smoke ring around. These are some of my best ribs, and I just wanted you to, uh, I wanted you to see how great they are. They're perfect and uh, good quality ribs. And we didn't try to cook them too fast, 235, uh, with the bath, that really helps. So we're about to go enjoy some ribs. We've already enjoyed a few uh, taste tests, and now we're going to sit down with a meal. So thanks.